Hey guys, what's good, what's happening, and what's going on? So as I mentioned in the past, I've been wanting a backup camera for my truck for a while. I've gone ahead and reached out to the local Ford dealership and said, hey, what would you charge me to put a backup camera in my truck? The screen can do it. I have the attachments for the screen. I'm just missing the hardware on the handle because that's where they put it on a 2017. Uh, Ford F-150, they put the camera on the actual handle part. It goes off to the side a bit. I just need that in the wiring and somebody to route it properly so it's factory spec. What would it cost? They got back to me and said, oh, if you're looking for a backup camera, why don't you just trade in your truck and buy one with a backup camera? Okay, that's not the question I asked. I wanted a backup camera. So I replied back and said, well, no, that's not a solution. That's just gonna help you guys out. I'm just looking to keep my truck because it only has 27,000 kilometers and put a backup camera on it. And then they hum and hawed back and said, we don't have any parts for your truck. Sorry, we can't help you, blah, blah, blah. If you're interested in a trade-in, please contact our sales department. So I was done fighting with them about that. And then at work, I was chatting with a guy about it and he said, go on Amazon, which I did. And he said, go buy this, this backup camera. It's great. There's no wiring. It's completely wireless. And all you need to do is run the screen to your cigarette lighter and the rest is done. The camera's solar powered. So without further ado, let's unbox it with the trusty Cabela's pocket knife. And let me show you what I ended up with. This is also a non-sponsored video. I did pay for this myself. And like I said, I've been wanting a backup camera and this thing was a good deal. So what we got here is the Fox Park backup wireless camera. Now you can actually buy two cameras for this setup, but and that's what uh, my coworker did was he has one in the front, one in the back, and it gives you this like satellite view of your vehicle showing you all around your car so that you can see when you're backing out to make sure you're not gonna you know, run the front end into something or run the rear end into something. Pretty cool idea, but I only got the one camera system. So I basically just slide that off and then open up the box. I'll let gravity do its thing. Slowly, it's pooping, it's pooping. Okay, I'm, I'm impatient, I'm gonna force it. There we go. So inside the box, we get a QR code with a how to attach it manual. You get the actual operating manual, which I'll read while I poop. You get the cutest little five inch LCD screen you ever did see. All right, here is the actual camera right here. And what's nice is if you're in a zone where you don't want to leave it on the thing, you can just take it off the mount and it comes off your license plate mount. So if you're like parking in the ghetto or something and you're afraid somebody's going to steal your camera, you can just take it right off the back plate and nobody can walk away with it. Beauty plan, right? This just mounts to your license plate. Beauty, that's a solar panel. There's your camera. And what's really cool is if you're doing a trailer, you can actually tilt the camera somehow. I don't know how, yeah, you can tilt the camera down, aim it at your trailer hitch, tilt it up at the sky. If you wanna see if the birds are gonna hit your car, whatever you want. So if I'm gonna be backing into say a boat trailer later on in life, boom, I can look at the hitch and make sure I'm lined up. Pretty awesome, love that concept. And then last but not least, well, there's also a, uh, a sticky pad, I guess, so you can secure it even more. I don't understand the logic behind that. And then in this box here, it should have the wiring for the actual, oh no, this has the suction cup mount for the TV screen and the supplied USB micro cable to charge the battery because you have to charge the battery prior. It is a solar powered camera, but the battery comes with this typical 55% charge for travel use. And then in here, this is kind of neat. It comes with this USB that plugs into your cigarette lighter that powers the TV screen with the proprietary connection, but it also has a USB connector on there. So you're not sacrificing your port for a USB charger. Not sure what the headphone jack is for, but uh, that's a little micro headphone jack. And this button right here turns the screen on. So when you go into reverse, uh, I'm, I'm guessing you can probably rig this thing up to your reverse switch and that's what that's for, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna turn it on when I need it and not use it when I don't. So you turn that on, turns on the screen. You can see what the heck's going on behind you. And I'll show you all that during the installation. I've watched a bunch of videos on this. Everybody was boasting about it, saying it's such a great system. Um, I did my research prior to purchasing because I wanted to make sure that what I was buying wasn't gonna be potato soup. And everybody gave it high regards. So I was like, all right, well, for 150 bucks, it better friggin' do the job. And it was cheaper than the one I looked at over at Canadian Tire, because they wanted 229. And that one required you to take your headlight out or your tail light out 
and wire it into the reverse circuit and then run wires from the back of the truck up to the screen. So this is a complete wireless system. Uh, the one guy actually hooked the camera here up to his uh, trailer like he was towing a travel trailer and he hooked this up to the travel trailer so you can see behind him. So that's pretty sweet that you can do that. There's a power button here to turn the camera on from the back and on this side over here you have a micro USB charging port. So what I need to do before we even get going with this installation, first it's pissing rain outside, so I don't know if I'm doing the installation tonight, but we will do the installation on this video. I need to charge up the camera so she's fully charged and ready to rock before we install it. So let's pitter patter have at her, get this thing on the charger, and I'll be back with you guys in a moment. Alrighty guys, we just got a break in the rain, so now we can go ahead and do this install. Now, I wanted to put the camera up high here, but there's no way to really do that with this light in the way. So we're not going to bother. We're going to put it down here on the license plate. So I'm going to take off these screws here. I can probably use my multi-tool for that. We're going to get rid of that license plate uh, cover too, because I don't need to advertise where I bought my truck from, seeing how they don't want to help me in getting a backup camera. I don't feel the need to advertise for them. Screw those guys. They want me to buy a new truck. Like, frig off. Everybody's just out to make a dime. Go ahead and remove these old rusty bolts. Take these out, and then we'll put the new ones in. Well, not the new bolts, but I left the frame in the truck, the camera mount. Whoops. But it's fully charged. Came back from my parents' house. I had to set up their new cable motor, or the fiber modem. So we'll take that off. Take that off. Jesus, Murphy. So much dirt got behind it. Get this license plate cover off. I wonder if I can actually keep the license plate cover on. Oh, I can. Okay. So, this here just sits over like that. Then you just line it up with the bolt holes and drive your bolts back to her. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Doesn't get any easier than that, boys. I'll use the multi tool to tighten those down, but yeah, you want to take the camera off when you're doing this because it overhangs the bolts. But, you know, you probably already know that, so I don't need to tell you. But I'm telling you anyway because uh, it's a YouTube video, right? More content. Perfect. Hardest part's done. Well, not really. Cable management's gonna be a bitch because what I need to do is route the wiring for this from over here. Gonna use the bottom cigarette lighter. I don't know why I call them cigarette lighters. You can tell them from the 80s, right? Because remember when you used to have those 12 volts and they had a cigarette lighter in them? Basically, that guy down there, I'm gonna ramrod this into it like so. And then I gotta figure out how the frig I'm gonna route this wiring up the side here probably go i don't know how the hell i'm gonna do this can i pull this trim back does that move i might be able to route it up this trim okay i'm gonna do some cable management here and i'll be right with you all right guys i think i got it so we got it plugged in there routes under there goes underneath here comes up under here comes up over here goes through this trim here up here big ball of wire sitting there don't really care because it's a skivens mod Going into the monitor, we do have power, I see two red lights. So let's go ahead, kick the camera on. I think that turned it on. I don't even know how to tell. Did I press and hold it? Did I grab the manual for it? Probably not. Turn you on somehow. Okay, so the camera's already paired. It's mirrored, but whatever. Let's go ahead and attach this to the back of the truck. This just goes on like this, boom. And we now have a backup camera, but I might want to aim it down a little bit. See how that looks. Ah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. All right, let's get in here real quick. So apparently you can control it from the button down here, or not. Some buttons on the side here, you can get into the menus. So you can do brightness, contrast, guidelines off, reverse time. We can do 45 seconds, that's all I really need. I don't know, MU, normal. Oh yeah, we want it mirrored. For sure. So now we got a backup camera in our view. Decent. It just turns off in 45 seconds. It shows that there's full power. We should test it out. I don't know where to sit you guys. I kind of want you to watch but I kind of sort of need both hands too so let's see if we can come somehow manage to fan angle you guys in the cup holder here. That's not gonna work. Maybe that'll work. That's not gonna work. Hmm. How can I do this? It's like I almost need a table right here. Oh wait I do have one. All right let's go for a quick Little back out of the driveway. Go 
for a back out of the driveway and then a back, on, the do my own. A back into the driveway and we'll see how well this works. So right now the camera is off. I press that button, turns the camera on. Now it's not like your traditional backup camera where it shows you guidelines and I'm really close to the Trans Am. I'm going to change that menu timing back to 60. Does that give me guideline options? Let's just turn them on. And there we go. That's pretty much how she do. She'll charge in the sunlight, not in the, in the not sunlight. I don't think the guidelines are very accurate, but that's just my own thing. All in all, easy install. And it works like a charm. This here will just turn off in 60 seconds and uh, we're golden. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easiest friggin' reverse camera I ever installed. That's the first one I ever installed, so that's pretty good. I, th I think that's pretty good. So there you go, the Fox Park backup camera. Pretty decent. Like I said, if you don't have a backup camera on your car and you want to get one, I wouldn't, you know, use the guidelines on it. They're probably not the greatest, but it does, it does the job in a pinch. It does the job in a mother freaking pinch. So there you guys go. Did a little drive out back in. Never had a backup camera before. I always had to use the... Uh, one arm on the seat over the shoulder look and use the mirrors and all that which is probably what I'll end up doing most of the time but uh, it is IP68 rated so it's good for minus 30 degrees but I probably will take it off in the winter and just use it when I need it and then not when I don't so yeah there you go hopefully you enjoyed that video let me know what you think if you have any questions about the camera, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, guys, live it to win it. Peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.